All right, so back to the features. Uh, I was always talking about the 180 degree angle, but you can actually lock this at any angle you want. I think there are like four main settings you can go for, 30 degrees, I mean, 120 degrees, 150 degrees, and then 180 degrees, or just a straight 90. Have you ever wanted the quality of a high-end gaming chair, but the affordability of a regular office chair? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm an Anwar, and today, I'm gonna to introduce to you the Cosway gaming chair. And also with most high-end gaming chairs, the reason that they cost so much is really the brand and the logo. Usually you find the logo slapped right on the headrest, but here you actually don't see anything about the company, which in this case is um, Costway. <laughs> so in our case, in my case, it actually looks pretty cool. And also this, this chair right here comes in two colors. I think it's blue and orange. So if you're a fan of orange, then get this one. But there's also a blue. The one, when we tried to get it, it was out of stock. But I think this is actually listed as yellow though. But anyway, here's my story about the gaming chair. So my dad wanted to buy me something for my birthday. And he was like, oh, first he was like, oh, I should get you a monitor because you like games, right? And I told him the only games I like to play, they're not really like CSGO or, um, or Overwatch. They're really like more casual games like Team Fortress 2. Uh, Terraria, uh, GW2, uh, pretty much anything that isn't competitive. But I decided that I didn't want a gaming monitor, uh, so he decided to buy me something that he thought would be a very huge upgrade because before he see me sleep on my uh, other chair there, you saw that saw before there. So he decided that's nothing. That's nothing you should be sleeping on, and also you shouldn't be sleeping on chairs. Don't do that. That's bad for your back in the future, guys. But if you did have to nap on your chair, you probably want to get something better than that rickety old one. You want to get something high-end like this, but something still affordable, which is why my dad got this for my birthday. Also, my mom has been testing this for the past few hours, and you gotta understand, she's my mom. Uh, she's observed my patterns in uh, with playing games in the past few years, and she hates everything related to gaming. and. <laughs> And I can tell you how many stories she has of berating me over um, and, and giving me lectures about the horrors of games. But as soon as she went on this chair, she was like, oh, I kind of like this. Although she didn't really like the massage feature. She thought, she thought it could be a bit better, but she still thought that the gaming chair, this gaming chair related to gaming was pretty nice. And that's cool, don't you think? All right, so what else should I talk about? Okay. So another thing about high-end gaming chairs, a lot of people use them, and it's, it's pretty nifty too, because you would, I wouldn't have thought that there would be such a market for gaming chairs, but after feeling the experience of one, it's, it's just overwhelmingly good. I, I don't know how I can go back to regular chairs after this. Um, some other things about the chair is assembly itself. After we got it back in the mail, we did a video on it, so it probably took longer than it should have, but... Assembly for this chair should only take you less than half an hour. It's really fast and really simple. There's only actually six steps on the manual. So keep that in mind if you ever decide to buy this chair. Let's see. And I mean, you could say that the fact that this armrest doesn't have any leather skin on it is kind of bad, but that also means that you can customize it. You can add your own leather skin if you want. So it's a double-edged sword. It could be bad if you want. It could be good if you want. So pretty much this chair, I just gotta say, it gets my seal of approval. So with that out of the way, we come to the end of this video. And really, what I want to say is, you can you can spend however much you want on the product. You you can you don't even have to buy this chair. You can buy whatever high end gaming chair you want. Three hundred, four hundred dollars, three hundred ninety nine dollars. Once I can flip all the way back, it doesn't really matter. But my advice to you is, get a gaming chair because even if you won't be gaming, sometimes you might be coding or programming, like I will be doing, or studying, doing homework which is pretty much what I'll be doing for the next few years. And no matter what you do, it's going to be comfortable because you're on a gaming chair. So in the end here, I think the lesson is do the best thing for your posture. <laughs> so, I mean, with, it's, a, it's pretty much a complete package. What else could you do here? I mean, another thing is that you can also adjust the height. Um, oh, and it's pretty nice. But, uh, I mean, you'd probably expect that in pretty much any rolling chair, right? And also, the rolling quality is actually pretty good. So is the swivel quality. 
So, I'm Naimon, and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, look at other videos on I and Naimon, especially the videos that we've actually done on this, uh, this chair before. We've done an unboxing and an assembly video. If you decide to uh, buy this chair, it might be a good idea to check out that assembly video just for helps and tips on assembling it, because that was fun. So, for now, that's it. I'm Naimon, and signing out. Peace. For just a ton of features. So first off, let's start with the most noticeable thing. We have the footrest. This footrest is well designed. You can pull it out, flip it over, and pull it back in for a nice form factor. So it's got all the things that high-end gaming chairs have. For example, we have a headrest, an ergonomic headrest, a lumbar support, some pretty nice adjustable armrests, and Probably the coolest feature, many high-end gaming chairs can recline back. Most of them can only recline back 150 degrees. You're sure, those chairs are cool, but can your chair do this? 180 degrees of full reclining. And it flips back up. The lumbar uh, support right here actually has a built-in massager. On many high-end gaming chairs like, you know, GT Racing, Racer, they probably have something just like this. And when I take it out, it connects through USB and you'll see that it gives a nice massage. Wow, I can only imagine. Imagine coming home after a long day of work to your gaming chair and turning on the massage feature and just getting that nice rest. Compared to other high-end, I keep mentioning the price, compared to other high-end expensive gaming chairs, this is actually quite a deal because when you think about it, compared to other brands like uh, Respawn, Omega, you can't really get this nice 180 degree angle. I mean, there are some high-end gaming chairs, some for like uh, $399, but like this is affordable.